All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a little more of a world of ice and fire. So today we are back. We are continuing our campaign against the Riverlands. Um, the first episode, well, first episode, the last episode when this war got started was a big one. We blitzkrieged our way through them, took over a town, two towns? There's at least one town and several castles and the Riverlands are down to like only a couple forts left. Like, they have barely anything. So, uh, I've been looking around, trying to figure out how I can make these town sieges just a little more bearable, a little less painful on our side. Um, and some of you guys suggested that uh, you can send men to infiltrate the town and poison them. So, a good way to hasten, hasten, haste, hasten, hasten? I don't know how to pronounce that. Hasten. Hasten just sounds so wrong. Anyhow, the fall of the town <laughs> is to infiltrate it with a group of men to damage the defenses, food, stores, water supplies, or loyalty of the defenders. It is a difficult and risky maneuver, almost suicidal. Uh, those you send in have a low chance of returning, but if successful, they could cause great damage to the enemy. They need 600 stags, no big deal. Um, what type of sabotage would you like them to cause? And so you guys suggested to poison the town's water. So, order. Yes. I don't know what these error messages are. Did that work? Hmm. I really don't know if that worked or not. Anyhow, uh, I, we're already doing that. We'll do the fortified camp as well. Back to the siege. Uh, oh, wait. No, no. We need to do build mantlets. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, siege camp, that's all good. Back to siege. So what are we looking at now? Okay, so they're starting with 360 in the garrison and one lord, unfortunately. He ran straight past me into it. So that's a little annoying. So they have 540 there. That's a lot. However, we have Grey Worm, Grey Worm with 250 and... I forget who this is. One of the cows with 380. And then we've got 330. So we're up on them. I mean, we've almost got 1,000, I think. Just about 1,000 troops. So we still outnumber them almost 2 to 1. All right, so let's wait for some time. We'll see what happens. So I don't know. How do we know if the poisoning worked? That's my question. Do we have to wait like a day or two in game? Do we need to? Do I need to be waiting like this? That's the real question. Hmm. Uh, a mercenary. Okay. There's an exile from these guys, and they joined us. Okay. Bandits are approaching us. Interesting. Hmm. Well, uh, bandits really aren't that great, though, is the thing, you know what I mean? We've got plenty of troops. No, no, no. Get out of here. I think we're good. I think we're okay. We don't, we don't need to stoop that low. Alright, so we have the mantlets up. I don't, I don't think that shit did anything. Well, let me see. Um, hmm. <laughs> You have sent men to infiltrate Fair Market. Okay, so is that working? All right, we're going to go ahead and clear the ground for an assault. And just see what happens. All right. I mean, maybe we need to wait a little bit longer for them to infiltrate. Nice. 17 grand from, uh, oh, fuck, it's winter. And we're losing troops. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oof. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Compensation. Compensation. Oh, shit. Someone just left. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Where are you going? Traveling to the... Cal! No! Come back! Cal, no! I need you. Fuck. Now the odds are like even. That's no fun. This is not off to... Ooh. Okay, hold up. We just got main pool. Alright, this is a better start than I thought. That's not so bad then. We got main pool. We got a town. Might have to overthrow the queen this episode. We're gonna have to see what happens. Alright, our men that made it inside aren't doing shit. You guys told me this tactic was OP as fuck. How long do I have to wait? 
Bravos against Pentos. Okay, literally other side of the world. Not too fussed about that. All right, let's um, let's talk to Grey Worm again and just tell him to follow us and make sure that he continues doing so. Follow me. I like if he leaves, then we gotta quit the siege. Even right now, I don't like our odds. Where so where do we? Now order active watching. Okay, so it's working. That's working. Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna we're gonna hold out for a little bit. I, I just want to see how this works. So I'll be back in a sec. Hopefully with some good news. Okay, change of plans. Uh since what's his face left us, Caladrivo. Uh we no longer had enough troops to uh, conquer the castle because they actually outnumbered us. And uh that doesn't tend to go too well in these sieges. Um I don't know how this, uh, you know, infiltrating men, poisoning shit works, because it did not do a damn thing. Um, I mean, we'll try it again on this one, although we might not even have to. Honestly, we outnumber them so massively, we might be able to just instantly take Salpan, so we might do that. Because, oh, whoa, Reach took Raven Tree. They're down to just three towns. Yeah, honestly, I might be okay with this, just, you know, insta-taking, you know, forcing them to surrender Salpans. Then we'll do some real sieges on Lord Haraway's town and, uh, what's it fucking called? Fair Market. We'll go back to Fair Market. I, uh, was able to run into this guy, Cal Ildo, with 400 troops. So, I mean, that's basically as much as Caladrivo had. So, we're back up to where we were. We're doing fine. Also, uh, I dropped off the Unsullied and, um, what's it called? Got a bunch of food because we're out of food, too. Anyhow, we're back. Okay. Let's, uh, go ahead and, uh... Do a little bit of that, do a little bit of that, do a little bit of that. Good stuff. Mm hmm. So, what is the different shit? I wonder if these error messages are why they aren't doing anything. Hmm. Your men could spread rumors, leave dead bodies of some locals at night in the square, so uh, dissension among the defenders. This could also bring some men from the garrison to us. Oh, shit. Uh, that will just poison them. It's only 600 silver stags. I don't mind. We'll, we'll always try it. I don't know if it's actually going to work out or anything. But let's see. Can we just get this guy to just surrender straight up? Hey, get the fuck out of here. Boom! Easy money. Also, what the hell? 600... Our, our max party size is 627 now? Oh, boy. That's insane. I guess it's from getting main pool. And then we also got given pink maiden. Which my response to that was, what the fuck is Pink Maiden? But we'll take it. <laughs> Not going to complain about that. Um, what kind of kind of troops are we getting here? Soldier's Wife. Whoa, she actually is looking pretty tanky. Okay, we'll take her, we'll take her. She looks like she's been around the army long enough. She'll be she'll be a help. Ooh, Reach Knights? Fuck yeah. Reach Riders. Uh, I put our Unsullied back away in King's Landing because... Honestly, they're way too expensive and they just get killed in uh in siege battles they're way better in, in land battles or at least i'm hoping they are because <laughs> that's where i'm planning on using them from now on because holy fuck they get clapped in sieges spears are just they're not great in close range man they're really not uh but what is good at close range are stormlands knights with their uh, maces maces are great for short range uh melee combat all right we will take all of these lads since they're basically just fodder Conquer the town, forbid plundering. And we want that awarded to us, if you don't mind. Good stuff. And, yeah, I'm just going to drop these people right back off. Alrighty, then. That should do the trick. Uh, food, still doing great on. That's what we like to see. Um, how much is in, did we put in the garrison there? 53? Look, that's enough just temporarily. Alright? Just for the time being. Alright, let's uh, head right back out. Let's check out Lord Hairway's town. I didn't actually look at that on the way. Okay, Reach. Gotta remember, Reach is actually our, they're actually our allies in this. They're also fighting the Riverlands. Ooh, that's a lot of dudes. That is quite a decent number of dudes. Um, also, I was kind of debating between these swords, which one I want to use. I think we'll just stick to our, our scimitar. That is Gorin's uh, signature weapon right now. Um... All right, what are we looking at here? Two big lords, Brynden Tully and Carly Vance, Carol ben Vance. Jonas and Clement only have 100 troops between them. Still ain't going to be nice, because they got four, 400 in the garrison, another six, 
Seven. It's, yeah, they got eleven hundred total, man. They outnumber us. Oof. Let's see what fair market's looking like again. How about that? Let's try that again. Let me continue to remind these guys to follow us. Grey Worm's pretty loyal. I think he's actually following the campaign. Which, I love him for that. But I think the other one, he's not really. I have to keep on reminding him to follow us. Alright. Uh, by the way, so yeah, we got given Pink Maiden, even though we didn't even ask for it. Um, so, I don't know, man. As sooner or later, she's gonna stop. What? Just, the fuck was that? Ooh, Jorah. You follow me, too. Who are you? Seriously? You went all the way out of the way just for a fucking caravan? Alright, I wonder if this battle will be done. I'm not trying to ruin my reputation with the peasants even more. Because apparently that's how you actually fix it, is by helping peasants and caravans in battle. Not by doing their quests, but by helping them in battle when they're getting attacked. Which makes sense. Really, I definitely should have thought of that. <laughs> I definitely should have thought of that, and I just didn't. Um, let me... I know Jonah's here. Theon's here too. What the fuck? Look, guys, I'm the marshal. You all voted me in as marshal. Why are you not? Here we go. Come on, get back here, Jor. Get the fuck, Jor, you son of a bitch. How are you so fast with 250 troops, man? God damn it, Jor. Just help me. Just fucking help me. All right, whatever. Let's remind these guys one more time. Keep on following us. Should be good enough to, to uh, I don't think we need to tell Grey Worm that. Should be enough to get us to fair market. I'm not looking forward to this last siege. All right, just a little patrol that's running all the way over here. What are we looking at here? My God, Sir Helmet Page, what is this man? Where are they recruiting all these troops from? They only own two towns. Their entire, the entire Riverlands is in this frame. This is the Riverlands right here. They don't even own the north part of this of this picture. <laughs> like, how are they recruiting so many troops so quickly? I hate it. Fucking hate it. Okay. Okay. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm gonna try this one more time. I'm I'm really hopeful we can get this to work, man. I really do. All right, uh, find a traitor. Try that. Do that shit. Oh, that that took the place of the other one. Oh, man. All right, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. I think we're gonna try to starve them out. Maybe. I think maybe that's the move. How many? No, they only got nine days worth of food. That's not too long. That's not too crazy. And as long as I'm keeping up with these guys. And continually telling them to run back and join us. Or and to keep on following us. Then we should be able to starve them out. And then hopefully beat them that way. That's what I'm thinking. So I'll be back in a sec. You gotta be kidding me. They both left. Both of them just fucking up and left. Oh my god. This is... I don't even want to be Marshall anymore. Fuck this shit, man. Fuck being Marshall. Oh, thanks Daenerys. You gave me salt pans at least. I'm, no, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. Fan of Siege. Have a good fucking day. Have a good fucking day. I lost so many troops there. How many of my... I probably lost like 10 knights. More than that. More than 10 knights. Screw this. Yeah. Nope. Screw this. Tell everyone to go home. Not that they ever even fucking showed up. <sighs> At least we're making a lot of fucking money. We're making so much money. From, we're, we're turning like a 10k profit every week. Oh, look. Oh, look. We caught up to him. What is this? Uh, a whimpering scruffy dog runs out in front of you. Looks malnourished, weak, covered in dirt. Oh. Let's uh, feed it to our troops. No. <laughs> yeah, we'll take it as a... Wait. Did we just get... Did we just get the dog? Did we just get the dog companion? I thought you get a wolf normally, not a dog. Cow, Zeno, what happened to you? You had 400 troops. Bro, see, this is what fucking happens. Oh, no, 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 Cal, you know, it was, you know it was who I was thinking about. Mmm, yeah, look at you two. Dude, I hate these guys. All right, I need to, I need to do some uh, some planning. What do, I, don't, I don't know what our next move is going to be. We own so many castles now, by the way. King's Landing. Whoops. 
Maiden Pool, Salt Pans, Casterly Rock, and Pink Maiden. That's three towns and two castles. That all belong to me. What? Is, wait, hold up. What's my... My controversy is zero. Why are none of these lords following me? Like, I understand none of, none of them coming to my call. If I had a shit ton of controversy and they don't think I'm doing a good job, they think I'm doing an outstanding job, though. Every one of them voted for me. So what's up? What fucking gives? Oh, yo, 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 yo. Right here. Right here, right now. This is it. This is it, boys. Okay. Um, Stormlands Knights. I'm going to put you guys up at the top. I'm going to take this battle. Immediately tell them to follow us. And then we can take this, this town without even having to siege it. Without even having to siege it because they have no one in the garrison. Please, for the love of God, work. Just work with me here. Alright, get the man at arms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 700 against 120. Ooh. Good luck, sir. Good luck. We're going to wait until it's morning. I hate night battles. Okay. Boom. Let's do this thing. 947 against 107. GG, man. Good try. Oh, we do have a dog now. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, and he follows us. You'll be a good puppy. You're a good puppy. We must make you a strong, fierce hound. You do that by feeding him meat. I don't remember how, though. Oh, you need to do it in towns. So that's right. He follows you around in towns, so and you can talk to him while you're in town, and you can feed him meat. And that'll, that'll give you can make him faster, stronger, have more HP. You know, do more damage, all that shit. Cal Yildo instantly gets knocked unconscious by an archer. Feels bad. T Swizzle fires back by killing that exact same archer. Good job, T Swizzle. Ooh. Come on. Oh, headshot. Call that one the money shot right there. Ooh. Another headshot. That's why we get paid the big bucks. That's why Gorn gets paid the big bucks. Okay, I'm with him. Let's uh bring this back. Oh, get in there, doggo. Oh, we need a name. What is it? We're going to name the dog. Yo, what do we name the dog? Oh, no, no, no. Fuck. No, no. Leave him alone. Okay, we're good. No! No! Oh, my God. Puppy, no. Oh, no. <laughs> His body fades away. <laughs> that was awful. Well, it's nice having the dog while we did just kidding, he's still alive, he's still alive, he just got knocked unconscious. I think technically if you never, because you need to also feed him to restore his health. Um, I think technically if you like don't re, if you don't ever like feed him for a while and you let him keep on getting taken out, eventually he can die, like that, your dog can die. Um, we're obviously not going to let that happen. No way, shape, or form are we ever going to let that happen. But that is a possibility that we want to avoid. Boom, yeah, no problem, you're welcome. Oh, yes, a prisoner. Welcome aboard, and oh, I love my knights, man. This is why I love my knights. Look at all these juicy prisoners we just got. To the mines with you. To the mines with all of you. Good stuff. All right, we're just going to leave. Good, good. All right, you two, we need to talk. Grey Worm, follow me, you son of a bitch. And where's Kalildo at? No, not you, Grey Worm. Other one. Other boy. Kalildo. There we go. Yeah, mm hmm. Mm hmm. You tried to get away. Please follow me. Thank you. Literally, literally this is going to take like an hour, okay, guys? Literally an hour to take out half of their remaining thieves. Alright? That's all you got to do. Besiege. Boom. Alright, alright. You with me? You with me, guys? We're going to pretend like we're going to start building defenses. All right, we're going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, send some men in. Uh, you know, subvert the defenders. Yeah, make them feel really shitty about themselves, whatever. Um, pretend like we're building mantlets, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're going to tell them to surrender. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Boom! No problem, Sir Richard Crane. Get the hell out of here. 
All right, GG's. Easy, easy. I'm not looking forward to taking uh, what's it called fair market, man. I'm really not. Holy shit, they had a lot of good units in here, though. So many reach units. This is where they've been storing them all. Perfect. Okay. We can have up to 700. <laughs> oh, that's not fair, man. It's so OP. Mm, okay. Anyhow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, cardboard, blah, 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 blah. All right, give me a sec. I got to go through all these guys. Holy shit, look at these boys. Tarly house guards. They look like tanks, man. I don't know why I'm getting like a samurai vibe off of them. Oh, shit. Samwell is very, very well protected. All right, boom, there we go. Conquer it. We want that awarded to us. Thank you, thank you. And we'll go ahead and just... Yeah, just go ahead and drop these people right back off. Uh, picked up actually a decent number of them. Not really all that great. I mean, some of them are pretty decent that we picked up, but uh, we picked up a lot of fluff here. Give me a free rider back. They're pretty decent actually. But yeah, these farmers, these peasants. Yeah, you guys can just go right back and right back in there. <laughs> Seriously, the, the, these Harley house guys look sweet. I fuck with them. Uh, hold up. Not literally. <laughs> don't, please don't take that out of context. It's going to be on VMP quotes. All right. Uh, there we go. Good stuff. Trade with locals. Food is not doing great, but we can always buy some. Ooh, dried meat. Perfect. Actually, any other kinds of meat? No. All right. But what we can do, stroll through town. Where's Doggo at? Where's the, There he is. There he is. Come here, Doggo. I got some, some meat for you, boy. Uh, here, I have something for you. Dried meat. Okay. I think dried meat makes him do more damage, I want to say. You will be called... Guys, what are we naming him? He needs a good name. He needs a really good name. Hmm. Bad dog, go away. No, no. Uh, Kiel. Yeah, stay with me here. Oh, look at him. Wait. There we go. Oh, holy shit. He, doesn't, he just has eye holes. You can see through. Yeah, it's a little terrifying. That's fine. He's still cute. We still love him. All right. Um, So this has been a very good episode so far. Let's, uh... God, what do we do now? What do we do now? Seriously, fair market just sucks to try to take over. Oh, well, I do know what we can do. Sir Jonas Bracken, uh, we're sending you to the north. Yep, go to the wall, sir. Thank you very much. 117 renown for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And another suit of his armor. Uh, he didn't have anything good, so we'll just go ahead and pitch the rest of this. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Hmm. All right, well, I'm going to reevaluate what's going on, and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, well, another lord has been caught out, and we're about to punish him for it. I've uh, basically just been running around um, trying to get some more prisoners, shuttling the prisoners that we did have over to the gold mine and whatnot, put the Unsullied back in there. We've just been kind of chilling. Um, unfortunately, all of their lords are now respawning back in at Fair Market, so uh, I haven't really come up with a good plan as to how to deal with this yet. Um, literally, the only thing I can think of is to try and get lucky and somehow round up like four or five big vassals to come with me and then try to siege it down and hope they don't leave me before we can succeed in doing that um but yeah it's not a super great plan but we'll see it might come to that eventually anyhow brendan tully isn't he wait he's leading them right now isn't he isn't that the, the blackfish yeah that's a blackfish right there and they don't honestly have that many lords left fuck yeah i wanted his armor and we, like, missed the first opportunity to uh, to get it from him. Hopefully we'll actually succeed this time and actually capture him. Send it, boys. Full send. I suppose what else I could do is also just uh, maybe go around the world trying to procure the, the finest meats to feed our dog. Seriously, I need I need you boys to come up with a good name for him in the, in the comments. I mean, I'll figure out something. If, like, if I don't like any, any of the ones you guys come up with, I'll figure out something, but... I have a feeling one of you guys is going to come up with something that I like. 35 damage, that's it? Dude, I swear, this bull used to do way more damage. Or he just has supreme drop-off issues. So. 
Yes, I need to have a decent shield. Get the fuck out of here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ooh, that is a lot of longbow. Yeah. Let's well, ruin their days. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basically, just want to keep on running into them, make them put their bows away so they don't actually have time to shoot our troops. Now our knights have destroyed their infantry. Now the knights are in the longbowmen. And this battle is a wrap. Dude, seriously, these Stormlight Knights are gorgeous. I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna train up a whole army. I'm gonna have, like, my army of Unsullied, then my army of Stormland Knights. This is gonna be glorious. Like, 300, I, yeah, I want, like, 250, 300 Stormland Knights. Honestly, how do I not win sieges with them? I don't want to do sieges with them, because a bunch of them will just die to the random events, and they're not fun to train up. Actually, no, I definitely would not be taking them in sieges. Yeah, fuck that. They're way too hard to train up to take them in siege and just have them die to stupid pop-up events. But for any any battle against a normal person on the field of battle, it goes great. Also, that is potentially another option, is I just wait until the next, uh, like, marshal is up for a vote and just say that I don't want to be the marshal and just turn it down. Have someone else become the marshal, then they'll lead an army and just come in and attack them straight up. Which, then I wouldn't mind being a part of that. Because if, if it was just a normal siege, like, like not Viking Conquest mechanic sieges, yeah, I'll go in there. We'll, we'll pull up an army that's like twice the size and go in there, but I can't keep the boys together long enough. Can't keep the crew together long enough in order to actually, like, do a siege. It's awful. There we go. That was a great battle, though. Good, good pickup on their, uh, I mean, their king, right? That's, that's their lord. How many did we lose? Five? Alright. I mean, it could be worse. Yeah, we got the blackfish. We got the blackfish. You are my prisoner, bitch. All right. Good stuff. Uh, I don't even really want these guys to. Uh, actually, I can just drop them off. With, uh, I have some uh, some new towns around here that we can drop them off at. So we don't mind that. And oh my goodness, look at these prisoners. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, we can't actually carry that many. We really need to... Yeah, I need to go on another Stormland uh, recruiting spree. There's not that many. Um, don't need any of the loot. But who we will talk to... How are we doing in inventory space? I don't want to miss anything. Uh, that out of there. That should be enough space, right? I don't know why I've been dropping these armors off. Okay. Blackfish. Let's talk. Let's talk. I want to know who's next in line for uh, for secession. All right. Yep. See ya, man. GG's. Hundred and four. Blackfish armor. Oh, I want this to be so good. I know it's probably going to be disappointing, but I want this to be just amazing armor. All right. His sword's nothing crazy. Come on. Oh, that's disappointing. I mean, it's not horrendous, but I was just hoping for something more. What would that be? Is cracked negative six or negative four? It says negative four there, but I feel like it's actually negative six. We'll say it's negative six. Give it the benefit of the doubt. Plus 12 should so be a 58 and 19. Yeah, no, it's not better than what we have. It's not, even, not better than the shitty armor that we have right now. And way worse than King Joffrey's armor that we got a while ago. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Oh well, we sent him to the wall. Uh, so who's who runs their kingdom now? Targaryen at war with Riverlands. Carol Vance. Forty-two controversy. He's doing great. He's doing great. They've got one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lords left. Yeah, things are going pretty well for them. Okay, I'll be back in a... S well, actually, hold up. Let's see if there's any food around here that we can buy. I think we already checked in this one earlier. What's going on? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, what the hell? That's a lot of bandits. Oh, my God, they're clapping. They're clapping my cheeks. Holy oh. Okay, what the hell? I was, I was not expecting this. Yo, what is this man shooting? Oh 
Oh my god. That was way harder of a fight than I thought it was about to be. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Man, they really don't like us here in the Riverlands. Aw, oh, damn, there's, there isn't anything really here for us. Okay. I'm gonna go collect a whole bunch of meat for Doggo while we're waiting. And, uh, we'll try to buff up his stats. Okay, here we go. We've got our, our first round of food here for Doggo. Uh, you need a more powerful bite. This venison should help. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. All right, you look malnourished. Have some pork. So I think this is gonna beef him up. We got a well, we got a lot of pork. Yeah, I forgot they had a lot of pork. And then here's some dried meat for your teeth. All right, there we go. I don't know. Can we see his stats? I feel like there's a way you can see his stats, and I don't remember how. How do you see his stats? I swear, like I remember you can see his stats. You will be called. remember mm, I'm, I'm gonna have to watch back some of my old viking conquest stuff i'm pretty sure there's a way you can look at his stats and you can see when you're upgrading him anyhow good good little start there i'm gonna go find some more all right you need more strength this auric meat will make you stronger okay nice uh i don't remember auric meat being in uh what's it called um viking conquest is it just beef because isn't aren't orcs like basically like G like ancient giant cows <laughs> that were like around in the, in the middle ages uh you could be faster okay so chicken makes him makes him quicker we like that then some more dried meat make him more or make him do more damage perfect perfect uh, that's all for today good stuff all right go dog go uh, still looking a little slow can i tell him to like is he okay all right, all right. Oh, he's got some dust coming up behind him. Come on. Let's see you run, boy. Here you go. Here you go. All right. Well, you know, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. Down here in the reach now. Going on. <laughs> Seriously, this is, we're just visiting all of Westeros. Buying up all the meat. All right. Here you go. Uh, so, some more orc meat. All right. Only had one of those. Had a couple chickens, though. Some more dried meat. More damage. Uh, when he gets his first kill in battle, oh my god. It's gonna be wild. That's all for today. Wait. Okay. No. I, I just had a thought there. I wonder if, like, by naming him, it takes us to, the like, his character screen, but no, it didn't. God, I don't remember. How do you... Man. I swear there's a way to look at his stats. God, it's gonna bug me. Alright, all the way down in Old Town. We got a, got a lot of meat for you today. Alright. Uh-huh. Some pork, some chicken, bunch of dry... Well, I thought I had more than that. What the hell? I swear I had more meat than that. I guess he doesn't eat boar meat. He must be maxed out on pork already. So what did pork give him? Strength? No. Pork gave him... Health? I think it said it was like, you're looking malnourished. So I think it gives him like iron flesh. Because he has like character, like character stats. The wolf meat he doesn't want. The fresh chicken he doesn't want either. I think his stats might be maxed for those abilities then. Is what that means. Shoot, so what kind of meat am I looking at? What what kind of meat does he still want? Uh, what am I looking for? I think the dried meat he still wants. And I forget what else. Oh well, I'm going to keep experimenting. Alright boys, it is showtime. So... Uh, recollected our army back out of Lord Haraway's town because uh, Salt Pans was finally besieged. I'm not surprised because it only had like 50 in the garrison. Um, but by the main dude, uh, what's his face from that was holding up in, in uh, Fair Market, Lord Howman, something like that. So here's the here's the plan. I just called together the campaign. So hopefully we get at least a couple lords coming towards us, coming towards our position right now. I don't need them. I hope I don't need them to take out him in the field of battle, not with all of our knights. But I want the lords with us, so that after we take him out, hopefully capture, maybe send him up to the wall, we can immediately head over to Fair Market and force a surrender. And so storyline-wise, basically this would be us, we're about to defeat the entire Riverland army right here. Uh, was that the Riverland lore knight there? Actually, no, it was probably a bail. Um... And then basically just us going over here, just getting them to surrender. What is this? Knight of the Gate? Donald Wainwood? What a legendary title. 
30 Veil Knights in his army. Not bad. Okay. Respect. Um, where are they at? Okay. Is that two lords? Two lords. So there's Halmond with his 400 fucking troops. And then this guy only has 80. Yeah. Come to Papa. Oh, come here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys are already coming in. Are already coming in. Is he? Where? Let's get him. Hop on him. Hop on him. Attack him. Sick. Okay, we got him to help us. That's fine. We meet again. Oh, he hates me. He hates me from all the times I try to get him to surrender at uh, Fairwood. Yeah, this is it. I mean, we take him out. The Riverlands is, is finished. They're done. Surrender or die. Let's do this thing. All right, having those extra troops with us. What lord is with us? He must have a bunch of troops. Because we were not... I mean, we had a lot of people, but we weren't that stacked. So like this. All right, actually, everyone... Everyone, let's uh, form up, like, ranks over here. I want my cavalry to spread out so we get a nice, nice charge in. Use these knights efficiently. This isn't going to be a complete... Well... I don't think this is going to be a complete, uh, you know, massacre. I think we're actually going to have to kind of fight this one. Alright, there we go. We're spread out. So we're like, see? Head on in, boys. Uh, I'll tell the archers to stay back. I'll even use a little bit of tactics, you know. Something that's new to me. What? Dude, I don't know. The Riverland armors just look so shitty. <laughs> like, especially after fighting the Westerlings, that, like, even their peasants look dapper. That, like, I thought it was just a bunch of peasants that were, like, cresting the, uh, the hill. And it's just like, nope, those are their, 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 their uh, their front line. That's their vanguard. <laughs> They're their best fighters. Oh, yeah. What a glorious cavalry charge. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing beats just a nice cavalry charge spool entering the enemy line. I hope they don't severely nerf cavalry in Vanderlord. And I don't think they will from what I've seen. It, if anything, it looks like they're making them more powerful because they're actually giving better collision physics so that when you, like, run into someone, you actually fucking hurt them and send them flying. Oh, man, that is going to be great to watch. Oh, we're going to tag the fuck up and they kill our horse. Yikes. Oh, there we go, tag team. I slash him, you lance him. That's how we do, baby. Oh, yeah, this is going great. I, but, so, I do agree, though, like, Calvary does seem a little overpowered, which is accurate, like, they should be. Um, I think the, the way to fix that, though, is not to nerf the Calvary, is, like, in terms of their performance. Oh, we just got taken out by a pinprick. <laughs> we are so low. Not to nerf their performance on the field of battle. I think what Bandalore needs to do is make them hard to upkeep, if that makes sense. Make it so that it's hard to maintain just a giant army of cavalry. And I think that's what they're doing. Like, make it harder for them, harder to train them up, make them cost more, um, make it so that, you know, we have to carry more supplies for our horses, shit like that to, uh, to, you know, I guess, it's kind of a nerf on cavalry, but a nerf in terms of you're just making them more expensive rather than you're making them pussies in combat. That's what I think the correct move is to do. Um... Do we have reinforcements coming in? Like, what the fuck? Okay, there we go. Now we have reinforcements coming in, but those guys are going to get shot to pieces. Wow, that is a nice uh, lineup they got there, man. Holy shit. Kind of want to redo it. Should we go back in? Who just got taken out? Grey Worm got taken out? Yeah, not that big of a deal. Oh, Grey Worm has that many troops with us? I guess that makes sense. We had about 300 last time we saw him. Stormland Knights are popping off over there. Dude, I love our Stormland Knights. I, seriously, guys. As soon as we're done with the Riverlands this episode, hopefully we get some downtime before our next war, and I'm going to train up, I'm serious, like 300 of them. I'm going to train up just a fucking army. Like, seriously, an army of 300 Stormlands Knights, we will be able to crush, like, entire other nations on the field of battle. Like, we'll be able to take their entire military campaign and just splinter them. Look at these boys. Look at them. Oh my god, they're so good. They go in with the, the, the couch lance, splinter the line, then they pull out their, uh, what's it called? Their, their maces, and just clean up the rest. This guy, he has no idea what to do. He's, he's throwing fists. He actually took out the horse with his fist, which is <laughs> quite a feat in and of itself. But it's not enough. It's not enough. They're all getting knocked out. They're all going to be our prisoner. Like, it's... 
It's so good. It's so good. I love this shit. GG's. G fucking G. Alright. Uh yeah, we lost 29 troops there. Not that bad. 13 of our Stormlands knights. Alright. That hurts a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. Ooh, five of the house knights. That actually hurts a bit more. We're almost there. Um how am I doing in terms of health? Not great. 7% <laughs> Devona. Forgot about you for a sec. Thank you, darling. Oh, seven more house knights. We are down to a total of 50-something. 50 53 uh, of the Stormland knights. That's not great. I want to... Those are rookie numbers. I need to pump those up. But yeah, I'll do those at the, at the end of this episode. Get them ready for next time. Alright, boys. Same thing. Oops, that's not where I want you guys to hold. Hold right here. Spread out. And we'll go ahead and charge on in. Wow, these guys are bold. They're charging in against us. Oh, we got him. Headshot. 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 Nope, not headshot. Headshot. Alright, that's enough showing off. Charge in, boys. <laughs> Get out of here. Distracted their cavalry, so now our cavalry has just a straight up charge in. I do feel like the horses are kind of weak in this mod. That's what I don't like. That's okay. I feel like that's a decent nerf. I don't know how tanky were horses like IRO, <laughs> like armored horses. I feel like they'd be pretty tanky, but at the same time, I mean, you take out a horse that, like. If a, if a horse, like, breaks its leg, you gotta put it down, because it's just never gonna recover. So, like, I can see, like, how, like, you know, just stabbing a horse once or twice in the right spot would probably put it out of commission. So I guess maybe that's somewhat realistic. Alright. These, oh, look at these archers. Actually, fuck that. Yeah, look at those archers. I don't want any... Uh, actually, no, our boys are coming in. Okay. I was going to say I don't want any piece of them. Not by myself. Don't want a repeat of what happened in the last battle. But I think we got the numbers now. No running away. No survivors. Uh, oh my... Choke job. Seriously, I hit all these headshots on, like, moving, like, horsemen. You can't even hit, like, an archer on the ground. Ooh. That was a nice little decapitation. <gasps> Doggo still up. Come on. Give the kill to Doggo. Oh no, they already took him out. I don't think the dog can even take out someone on horseback. Wait, wait, everyone, fuck off. <gasps> yes, yes, killed by dog. Rivalin's outrider killed by dog. He got him. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, he got him. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, you're such a good boy. Good job. Hell yeah. Oh, we got him too. Welcome to my prisoner pool, sir. Uh, holy shit, look at all the people we captured from this guy. The house guards, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I'll do the trick. Thank you very much, sir. We do appreciate your contribution uh, to the service. Alright, so that went very well. So let's drop these boys. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look at this. How many is that? 403 with another 325 and our 300. And look, oh, everybody's coming out now. Oh, man, it's Riverlands. Goodbye. Good night. You tried. You gave it the old college try. Um, but, man, it's only been about a month in game, maybe, since this war broke out, and it's done already. Like, it's, it's just fucking done. Alright, uh, do I have inventory space? Yes, I do. Come here, sir. Sir Halman. Uh, ba ba ba. To the wall you go. What do you got? Honestly, not all that much. Riverlands heavy armor. It sucks. Surprise, surprise. Uh, okay, this shit needs to go. Our dog doesn't want that anyways. Get the armor for right now. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let me remind all these guys to keep on following me. 
oh man, see this is this is what we could have had this whole time. Are you kidding me? Look at this. We could have had this this whole time. This war could have been over in a week. If you guys would have done this earlier. All right. Let me remind them. We'll head on over there. And we'll wrap this episode up. This is amazing. I love this so much, man. We need to do a number count. All right. So we got 300. All right. So uh, about 700 there. 800. Uh, God, it's so hard to see. These guys are kind of grouped up here. What numbers you got here? Let's try this again. All right, about 700, 1100, uh, 1400. Wait, I oh, know we're getting the same guy twice here. Actually, okay, that was 1100, 1200, uh, 15, like 15, 1600 plus ours. Dude, we're, we're, we're right on the door of 2000, man. That's what I'm talking about. Full send, laddies. Full send. Oh, my God. And another guy just joined us. Yo, it's done. We're rolling up. And, like... <laughs> oh, rolling up. The the messengers haven't even arrived yet to tell them that we defeated their entire army. Be like, oh, yeah, by the way, your uh, new king that you just anointed. Yeah, I captured him and sent him to the wall, too. Just like the last two. Um. So, uh... And we, have, we outnumber you, like, five to one. Let's, let's call this call us a day you guys gave it gave it a try but uh we're, we're done here all right we're we're done here uh I, I, no okay we're not gonna do that we're not gonna <laughs> there's no need to poison them now kick them while they're down um yeah look just surrender man can you give us guarantees you'll be ransomed and your soldiers will live i give you my word perfect thank you I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Alright, bastards. The fuck? What do you mean you're busy? Oh, laddie. It has been a long time coming. Not really, actually. It's been a very short time. What am I talking about? This has been the easiest fucking war ever. A little bit of struggles earlier on this episode. Trying to actually do the sieges. Because sieges fucking suck in this mod. But the land battles were great. We kept on sniping their lords. We took out their kings. We literally have ransomed three of their kings in a two episode period <laughs> and sent them or sent them to the wall is what i mean we exiled three of their kings like <laughs> you can't get much better than that man that's just utter domination um but yeah that'll that'll be that for for the riverlands uh we'll go ahead and take all these prisoners thank you more uh, more lads for the mines. Boom, boom, boom. Forbid plundering. We want that awarded to us. All right. There we go. There we go. Um, let's get some more bread. We're kind of running a little low there. Cool, cool. All right. Well, hopefully you boys enjoyed this episode. Um, very successful one. I, like, that's it, right? Um, let me just double check. This would be embarrassing if they actually have another. No. It, they occupy nowhere. Um, so I've just got to go around and, and finish off like the le the rest of their vassals that are chilling around. But that, that should be easy with our knights. Um, but yeah. As always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. Let me know what are we naming Doggo? What are we naming our dog? He's he's good now. I, guys, seriously, we fed him so much meat. We power we power leveled him. <laughs> he is he's pretty decent now, and we saw that he got a kill. Uh, honestly, he might have gotten a kill early on in the battle that I just didn't see, but he got the last kill of that battle. And there will certainly be more where that comes from. But anyhow, the reach in the Riverlands made peace. Okay, whatever. As always, take it easy, lads.